Hello everybody and welcome to this first session concerning the atom. In this session you will learn that the atom has discrete energy levels and how to draw the energy level diagram of the hydrogen atom. At the beginning of the 20th century, different models of atoms were proposed. We will work in this session on Bohr's model of the atom. In 1913, the Danish physicist Niels Bohr, inspired by the work of Planck and Einstein, proposed a model for the atom based on certain assumptions. What are these assumptions? First, the energy of an atom can only take certain particular values. It is quantized. Each atom has its own set of allowed energy levels. The atom can have energy equal to one of these allowed levels, but any intermediate energy between two levels is strictly forbidden. It's like someone climbing stairs. It can be on one of these steps, but not between two steps. Second assumption, the atom remains normally in its ground state whose energy is the lowest. The ground state is a stable state. Higher states are excited states. This is the first excited state, second excited state, etc. Third assumption, an external energy supply can bring the atom to a higher energy level the atoms is said to go into an excited state. This is an electronic transition. Four, excited states are unstable states. The excited atom returns very quickly after around one to 10 nanoseconds to its ground state. It's the de-excitation of the atom. Five, when an atom passes from one energy level En to a lower one Ep, it emits a photon whose energy is equal to the transition energy between the two levels. Energy of the photon equal H nu equal Hc over lambda equal En minus Ep. Six, to excite an atom, from an energy level Ep to a higher one En, we must provide it with an energy equal to the transition energy between two levels, between the two levels. The absorbed energy by the atom is equal En minus Ep. The energy absorbed by the atom can be provided by a photon. In this case, the transition from Ep to En can take place only if the energy of the photon is exactly equal to the energy of this transition. Energy of the photon equal H nu equal Hc over lambda equal En minus Ep. The energy can also be provided by another particle like an electron. In the case of the electron, the transition from Ep to En can take place only of the, if the kinetic energy of the electron is at least equal to the energy of this transition. Kinetic energy of electron in this case is greater or equal to En minus Ep. Let's make an exercise for a better understanding. Ea and Eb designate two energy levels of a given atom. This atom is initially in the Ea level. First question. Can a photon of 3.5 electron volt energy bring the atom to the Eb level? Justify the answer. And second question. 
same for an electron of kinetic energy 6 electron volt. Well, to answer this, we should, have, we should calculate the transition energy between Ea and Eb. This transition energy is equal to Eb minus Ea. Eb is minus 6, Ea is minus 10, thus Eb minus Ea equals 4 electron volt. The energy of the photon is 3.5 electron volt, which is different from Eb minus Ea. Therefore, the photon cannot ensure this transition. Concerning the electron, the kinetic energy of the electron is 6 electron volt, and this kinetic energy is greater than Eb minus Ea. Thus, this electron can excite the atom from the level A to the level B. Let's approach now the second part of this session. It concerns the hydrogen atom. This atom is the simplest one. It has one single proton and one single electron. For this reason, it has been extensively studied, both theoretically and experimentally. The energy levels of a hydrogen atom are given by the following formula. En in electron volt is equal to minus 13.6 over n squared, where n is a non-zero whole number. Using this formula, we can draw the energy level diagram of the hydrogen atom. For example, let's take n equal 1 in this formula. E1 is equal to minus 13.6 over 1. We have here minus 13.6 electron volt. For n equal to, the formula gives us minus 3.4, etc., etc. For n infinity, we have E infinity equals 0. It's the ionized state which is taken as a reference state. Its energy is 0, and all other energies below are negative. The energy required for this transition from E1 to E infinite is called ionization energy. Here is an exercise for a better understanding. A hydrogen atom in its ground state absorbs a photon and passes to the second excited state. Determine the associated wavelengths of the photon. Well, the second excited state corresponds to n equals 3, not n equal 2, because the ground state corresponds to n equal 1, first excited state n equal 2, and second excited state n equals 3. As the photon excites the atom from E1 to E3, the energy of the photon will be E3 minus E1. We calculate E3 and E1 using the formula for the hydrogen atom, and we find 12.088 electron volt. The energy of the photon is given by h nu equal hc over lambda. We find this number using SI units. And finally, lambda after calculation is 10 to the negative 7 meter. What have we learned in this session? First, the energy of the atom is quantized. It can only take certain particular values. When an atom passes from one energy level, E superior, to a lower one, E inferior, it emits a photon whose energy is E photon equal E superior minus E inferior. To excite an atom from one energy level, E inferior, to a higher one, E superior, we must provide an energy equal to E absorbed equal E superior minus E inferior. The energy levels of the hydrogen atom are given by the formula En in electron volt equal min minus 13.6 over N square, where N is a non-zero whole number. Thank you.